This is CTV News. Here is Steve Murphy. Good evening, everyone. We begin here tonight with that cell phone somehow related to the Katie Miller disappearance that is now in the hands of Halifax police. They won't say what, if anything, they have learned from it, but we are learning more about the kind of information it could provide. Here is CTV's Kayla Hounsell tonight. It was the biggest break in the case, but so far the cell phone has not provided any answers as to where Katie Miller may be. I have not heard anything more about the cell phone. Uh, of course, I've thought about it a little bit. The cell phone was found at the Dartmouth Sportsplex and turned over to police on Sunday. Officers told her family about it yesterday, not saying whether it was Katie's phone, only that it was one related to her disappearance. Tonight, her father confirms his daughter does have a cell phone. Terry had bought the cell phone for her, and she had all of the uh, information, the contract for the phone, and she's provided that to the police, so the police should now know whether the phone they have is Katie's or not. But the police will say only that the phone is still under investigation. How it was turned over uh, to the Sportsplex, uh, who discovered it, even the cell phone itself, all of that is currently under investigation. Friday will mark one month since anyone has seen or heard from Katie Miller. That's when she sent the last text message to her mother. And since then, she hasn't used her phone, social media, or bank accounts. I think finding a cell phone is extremely valuable. Dwight Fisher is the assistant VP of Information Technology at Dalhousie University. Because of the way people use them today, their email, where they take their photos, where they travel with maps, all the apps that they use for social media, all this leaves a digital trail. Police aren't saying what kind of cell phone they're looking at, only that this is still a very active case. And as the search for information continues, hundreds showed up at a vigil last night to keep Katie's story front and center. I know that there are very possibly difficult days ahead until we find Katie that uh, I was at that point feeling much better. A feeling he hopes turns to answers sooner rather than later. And we tried to speak with the woman who found that cell phone today. She is an employee of the Dartmouth Sportsplex, and she was happy to speak with us until her boss told her she couldn't. So then we called the general manager and asked to speak with him. He says no one speaks for the Dartmouth Sportsplex other than him, and that police have asked him not to speak with us, Steve. All right, Kayla, thank you very much. Uh, we'll be speaking with Katie Miller's father here, John Miller, in the second half hour. That is CTV's Kayla Hounsel. For us in the newsroom and how